Well, here we are uh, in Southern Africa, and we read, we read selected books. South Africa is a funding one. Yes, Kate Way. Most of the time, I select the readings. Kesselin too, brother Sloan, we select the readings of funding. Brother Sloan would be me, T from the Patterson's taking train to bed. This is Mr. Tola. He's uh, he interprets what I read. Mr. Sloan can change the speech on that. You must know. I need my reading glasses because it's, I picked out. Um, we have been reading uh, uh, Saul Plachi's book, uh, A Native Life in South Africa. And, um, and so we finished with that. Well, when we finished with all the stuff we were reading from it, we we encourage you to get that book and read it. It's a classic. It deals with South Southern Africa, how, it, how this whole land thing first started. Yeah. It's important reading. Yeah. Native Life in South Africa by Utato Soul Plachi. Mm -hmm. Because by the way, Soul Plachi, the, the title of the book is Native Life in South Africa. Mm -hmm. It's a great book. Yeah, it came out 100 years ago. <laughs> it came out 100 years ago. Yo! And it still applies to today. <laughs> yeah, hey, it applies even today because Galog, the system has been running the same scam now and again. So the, 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 it's evolving. Whatever that they have been doing is evolving. Even the book is still have the stuff that we're doing that are applying even now. Now, I was recently in uh, uh, Grahamstown, well, recently, like a month ago, and I picked up a book of plays. Let's say Grahamstown, okay. Kwa ema kanda, apo abe kona. Uye wa fumana ni mwati iti plays, the book of plays, it plays in one act by U Daniel. He's the editor. Editor, it's Daniel Helmer. Bye. Yeah, he's he's a head editor, but he has Hello all these all these authors, all these playwrights oh. are in this book, right? Oh, the playwrights can zonge is long. Do he edit it? Yeah, he picked the plays. Yeah, he picked it. He chose the plays, but he only did the plays in one act. To put this, please. Yeah, like that. And I picked uh, an author that I know about. She she her her, her say his heyday, but she wrote mainly in the early sixties into the sixties, I guess into the seventies. Yeah, yeah. Now we are choosing Bali Amazio. Why come up with sixties and go go back then? Adrian Kennedy. Yeah. Uh, Adrian Kennedy. Now she has a she has a one act play here. It's called uh, she talks uh, Adrian because she talks to Beethoven. Oh, you are in the way because you know party. Adrian Kennedy, she talks to Beethoven. Beethoven. Yeah, you know the, yeah. the musician yeah. like that. Um, now I picked out one parag one paragraph. Well, the play it's a, it's what's called a mix. Well, I call it a mixed medium. Yeah. She's talking sort of like in the past to Be Beethoven, or yeah. Beethoven is it's like a, a how you say an apparition, a a, 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 a I won't say ghost, but mm. a, a, a figure that she talks to, mm. right? Okay. Um, but she's she actually is in this play takes place. She's writing or this play takes place in Accra, Ghana in nineteen sixty one, soon after independence. Yeah. So we chose a play ka 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 train heaven Kennedy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know be a to Accra, Ghana nineteen sixty one, soon after independence. That's when she did that's when the play takes place. And the characters in the play are Beethoven and uh Suzanne Alexander is the name of the, the character. Yeah. There's a she that talks to Beethoven. Yeah. Okay. Now, yeah, now, now now they didn't credit this, but also there's a radio voice. The uh, by she, she, she's listening to the radio, she's writing to Beethoven or talking to Beethoven, and she's also reflecting her husband. Uh, her husband is a, is a, is a revolutionary uh, poet. Uh, she's a writer, she's, he's a revolutionary poet, and he's been missing. Okay. That's how the play starts. She's, he's missing, and so she's recovering from an operation, uh, you know, a, a medical procedure, mm -hmm. and she's having these. Let's, let's assume because he's a medical procedure, she was maybe a little, uh, you know, 
some some some, some substance, substance was, was there. Substance. so she's having these visions of Beethoven. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that's what, <laughs> what the play. Yeah. So the play has this mix of a radio that she's listening to, and the uh, and, and 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 the fact that she's writing writing a, a play uh, mm-hmm. and also talking to Beethoven. Okay. Oh, le now hopefully this paragraph will, you'll understand why I picked uh, this particular paragraph it's not very well it's long it's just the radio the radio voice there uh, okay. or doing stuff like that. hey if it, I'm a radio man so like Maybe I should use my radio voice when I'm doing this. So, okay, I'm going to say that I'm going to Or maybe I won't. Let's have And so the radio says, Has David Alexander been murdered? Who is David Alexander? The, out, the outspoken professor at the University of Legon is still missing. No, 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 no. I'm going to say professor at the University of Legon. Now, I'm going to say As we have reported, Alexander Alexander worked with Fanon in uh, Berlina and was friends with the late Patrice Lumumba. Now that Fanon may be Dying of cancer, Alexander has become highly vocal in keeping Fanon's words alive. Gogu fon ogu Fanon, tambi ogu file i cancer. Gogu Alexander ogu funa i nizula keli vagali. Ugwenza ugwenza ogu Fanon amazuya ke apil. We've played you his rendering of Fanon's essay essays, and now we listen to David Alexander's poetry. It has never been clear. Alexander has said on many occasions who the enemies of Fanon are. And even though Ghana has won its independence, as Osegefo also continues to remind us, there are still enemies. Alexander was hated by the many uh, by many of his work in the clinics and with Fanon and for his statements on the mental condition of the colonized patients. Alexander statement at first it is uh, it was thought that when Alexander disappeared he was working with one of the patients at the hospital at Legon but now it has come it has been revealed that he was there waiting to hear the results of his wife's undisclosed, undisclosed surgery. And was indeed by her bedside and disappeared while she slept after surgery. The Alexanders are an inseparable couple for uh, who often read their works together and have written 
a series of poems and essays jointly. Abandu masi Alex, babababu Alexander. Bosuke ni nango na de solo ko de sheli bobabi ni de 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 funda kanya de pala imibongo ni essay de tiden. It has been learned that the hospital, well, um, that at the hospital, while sitting with his wife at his wife's side, Alexander made sketches of his wife's illness and explained the progress and surgery procedure to her. Londo iba iba ifunde speke lugu banjembe ni shiri kalgu nguskazu waki wa Alexander. Upizu ya pala uzo nguskazu waki ni zikulu zaki. Ekaitri suku ba injela za upukumala ngayo le secha luka ni injela. Ifuneke kwenzwe ngayo kalgu waki. And that's how the passage ends that I wanted to share with you. But the important the thing I, I, I wanted to really put down is, is how, let me put it this way, this, this, the playwright's job, like the poet's job, like anybody's job, mm. is to keep ideas and people alive. Every time you mention Patrice Lumumba, you keep his 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 legacy his 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 being alive now so lobo uthetha ngopatrice lumumba uhlala ubeka imiqondo yabantu kuba usaphile when you mention franz fanon you keep his work alive now uthetha ngo franz fanon ukhipa umgcina umsebenzi wakhe uphila when she says something like uh even though ghana won its independence See, even though Ghana won its independence, we know there's something else happening there. See? But for me, the most profound or the, the, the sentence that hit me the most in this in, in this in this uh in this work, in this in this play. When Adrian Kennedy writes, Alexander was hated by many for his work in the clinics with Fanon. And for his statements on the mental condition of the colonized patients. The mental conditions of the colonized patients. Now remember, Fanon was a psych psychiatrist, and what he was really dealing with was the, as we say, the colonization of the mind of the victim of racism, white supremacy, or whatever, or, 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 or the colonizer, let's put it that way. Ofenon wa hei tilisha na nengu ndo za bantu wa bebe kuba, ze kile be kubo, ze kile be, de be konte uwe mwa se gondu ini, ye white supremacy. So, so, and like I said, any, anything that you pick up that relates to what you're doing will help you in understanding it even deeper or further, or keeping alive the people that first introduce you to that concept. Into yo kuba ufunde into e ten nakasana kuwa sonde len ku lendu yenza wile kubangela na ushale upila kwizindu zenza. Oh just oh just so you know I don't I don't wanna well you probably won't be able to find this play, so let me just give you a spoiler. Uh, uh the her husband, David Alexander, uh uh what happened is the president of Ghana, when they they, they caught the people that they thought were going to uh, kill him. And so he lives and they get back together. Just let you know. There you have it. Thanks for listening to this uh, Wednesday. We do this Wednesday yeah. readings at Wednesday of, of stuff. Where they can get the book? They can't. <laughs> it's out of print. I mean, I just got it from a I got it from a, a second-hand store. Oh, in Mwati, you can get the book by coming to Timbaza and <laughs> read with him. 
Really, <laughs> gotta come to Hot House. The, the the book is fascinating, but so if you need to get the book, you need to come to Timbaza and read the book with him well, on Wednesdays. You mustn't miss Wednesdays. You miss Wednesdays. Boom. And how long is gonna we gonna keep on going with this book? But I don't know. I might pick out something else because what we, we can run just, for a month. Or no, 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 two no, no. Weeks. I don't know. What I'm saying is this. <laughs> No, what use I'm that saying. pick out themes that have an African connection to exactly. it. Exactly. So I picked this one, but that particular play has an African connection to it. Do These have a lot that? of other playwrights. Do you, you know? hear that? Do you hear that? You see, don't miss out. Okay. Maybe it's a last week or it's a second last week. You need to come here anytime soon and come and listen and we'll read with him because you won't get this book now anyway. The yeah. title of the book is Play in One Act. Yeah, but it's, it, it was an imprint from... Harper Collins pub publishes. I don't know. You see, the, and, you see, you, you see, you look, see. Up, look up the thing, and you can maybe find out what's going on, right? Exactly. But every week we try to do something with an African theme because we're yeah. in Africa. Well, what, what, what do you want us to do? You know, <laughs> like that. So next week we'll we'll do something different. Actually, I'm traveling. Hopefully, yeah. I'll make it back in time for Wednesday. Yeah. And I'll have something to read. To read, yeah. All right. All right. Thanks a lot. This has been uh, me, T from the Pattersons, taking the train to the bed, letting you know what I only suspect with. Uh, me as me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a quote. <laughs> he interprets what we do it. All right. Yeah.